That's like building a derby car all this weld. All right, so today we're working on the rat rod tow truck again. We're gonna get frame done and AC box all put in it. Tore out, put back in it. So uh, yeah, we got a lot of work to do. Short time to get it done, so here we go. We're gonna take all this off. And put, we're gonna put a new heater core in it and evaporator. But we're gonna replace all this because we're gonna want AC. We don't want mud in it. That's not, not a good thing. But we'll get all this cleaned out and make it new. All right, last one. And it should come right out. And we gotta take the inside part and get the heater core out. So this is the AC part of it. Or there wasn't a mouse or anything in there. That's, that's nasty. All right, we'll change the evaporator out. One last thing out. And there it comes. Yeah, it needs a new blower motor, which is gonna get back in it. And we'll clean out all the mouse crap that, well, you've seen it in the other one. Okay, heater core out. All right, we got all the bolts taken out now. Now we should be able to pull it up. Yep, pull it apart. We're gonna clean it out, put a new one in it. I'm gonna check these diaphragms. Usually you can just go like that. And if it's holding, that means it's a good diaphragm in it, so that'll be good. But this one is not holding properly, so we got to change that. So we want it to switch from heat to cold. We want this thing ice cold with the windows down. Here's the expansion valve out of this thing. Oh, I think that was a little dirty. It won't buff? No. No, that ain't gonna buff out. <laughs> We're gonna get a new one. Okay, so we're gonna get a new one. Brand new part in it, good to go. But we need one more part. That blower motor jump. We'll get a new one of those. Okay, we are good. Now let's go get a pick and we'll pull all the little trim pieces off. Gotta pull all these off that are rotted. It'd probably just fall out once we get that off. All right, we're gonna take the back window out now. Same idea as the front. Just pull all the strip out. Try not to break too much glass. That dash is lightly worn. There's a reason he had that on there. I believe there is. Okay. Let's just gut it. Gut okay. it. We're gonna pull all this dash out and get everything out so we can have a clear view of what we're gonna have to do here. Cause we're changing all the gauges, everything on here. So let's gut it. Final part, hopefully the dash will just slide up out. <laughs> Grab that camera and let's take a look here. I think this thing's sat in the field, out in the dad's yard. There's been a mouse in this house. Well, there's no extras in there, but... <laughs> oh, go ahead and jump in there and look in that center vent. That's where the rest of the house was. There's, there's no way anything was flown through that. <laughs> All right, let's get some more parts out. Let's see what kind of dangerous mess we got going on. Let's lift it up and see what it does. I think I'll just go up far enough it doesn't bounce as far when it hits the ground. 9 sixteenths. I'll get the dip off. Hey look, new gears. You know what's gonna look better on there? It's covered. Ton better. Makes it super hard when Paul has to get it off when he breaks something. All right, let's glue it on. There we go. All right, we'll just add the rest of them and tighten her down. We got all the bolts tightened up on it. That's how it's supposed to look now. Nice and flush, covered up, ready for scrapage. A little <laughs> carnage involved. Oh yes. All right, all hands on deck again. We're, uh, we're focused. Ben and Randall have knocked out a whole bunch of little stuff on this, and now we're gonna get cross member built so we can cut this frame off. 
it. Just basically a loop de doop down under it is what we gotta have. Looks like I need 29 inches. Okay, we're gonna do this. I calculate the center of my bend needs to be at eight inches, which that means at like seven inches I need to start bending it. There's the, uh, I was close. Look at you. Yep, now we just gotta cut it off the same as this other side and it should go right in the frame. Zippity doo dah. That's gonna fit perfect right there. I'll do a little uh, cutting these ears off so it fits right. Voila! I chromatered the crap out of those. It told me it was 30. And it did not lie. But I'm a welder. I'm a gap filler. But it can be a, a two by three triangle. 90 on this side and the same on me for those. Two by three, four, okay. Yep. Alright, I'm going in. Santa Claus just showed up. Yep. You're welcome. Thanks, Santa. You love it? I love it. We got those welded in as soon as Ben's done grinding. I'll hold the others up in there and the motor's never coming out. It's going to go in there just like that. Brace it up. We got a second to rain. Come on, baby. This is more than's dropped since January. Yeah. It might. There's a little cloud here. Come on, baby. Should I roll my windows up or just tip it? No, leave it down so it'll rain more. It you roll rain. those up, it'll quit. It ain't gonna rain. There's one cloud over us. I know, it's right there. Yep. Okay, the motor won't fall out now. This this section's gonna be this long. Yeah. Basically enough to hang a radiator off the front of it. That's it. That little cloud's gonna prove you wrong. Let her do it. I'll set on a wet seat. Yeah, we're just gonna have to chop it off right there. Yeah, we're just gonna saw it off. All we're doing is extend, we're gonna make the original part of this frame rub. rub it's gonna that. hit that. But from here out, it's gonna come up to our two inch that's coming out of here and then 45 down. So it just barely misses the steering, back out, right crossed. Out. Yep. Guess get the old saws all are out and vibrate your arms off. Yep. I'm eating some, I'm on break again. Dude. We have conversations about brakes. Don't tell Michelle. All right, we got to get a screwdriver and push it in there. Between the trunk and the place in the bottom. Upside down. Here, let me cut this side and it'll hang down. It's supposed to do that. Supposed to be blue like that too. <laughs> Just like that. Yeah, yep, that's full squish. We're gonna be real close. How are the header to to link? About an inch or so. Yeah, well, it'll probably be a half to an inch higher than that at full stuff. All right, it's Monday morning. We are back in the shop. Today's order of business: we got to finish the front frame on the tow truck. So. I'm gonna start working on the frame and Ben and Randall are gonna go down and harvest the air conditioning parts that we need. So while they do that, I'll start building front frame rails and we'll get this thing, hopefully by the, by the end of today, frame rails are done and the AC box is in it. That's the goal. Let's do it. I'm trying to remember all the stuff I need so I can get this. 
boxed out. I think a wobbly and an extension and we'll go see what parts we get. All right, so here's the basics of what we got. I think we're gonna come three inches in. We'll cut this out right here and set it back in. Three inches and then it looks like I need to come out 15 inches. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, make, I'm gonna cut two 15 inch pieces of this. This is a two by four square tube quarter wall gonna be tougher than what we had here basically so and it's gonna give us the clearance we need here it's gonna give me so this is six and a half inches so it's gonna give me two extra inches of up travel which is what we need we'll cut some of these and start cutting that out what are you taking here fj oh you know it <laughs> he's got it all cleaned up he got it cleaned gonna, up i'm gonna go get it muddy you're gonna coat it with <laughs> mud again Let's go get some parts. Got it. At least it's only 2,300 degrees in here. Oh, it's not bad today. Yeah, we're only 105 maybe in here. <laughs> oh, this one's got a broken door also. Dang. Yeah, they all break this door. I guess we'll just deal with the one we got then. Okay, I guess we're heading back. We struck out on parts. We looked in quite a few of them. We don't have the right parts, so we're gonna have to go back and make this door work. We can make it right. Sounds like uh, parts crew's back. Parts? No parts. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna notch the top of this frame out right here so I can slide this thing back into it three inches so that it has a little bit of support and everything and weld that sucker in. Things are about to get serious here. We're going to do some cutting. We'll cut these things out, get the frame rail pieced together. Once we get these cut, then we can figure out the angle of this needs to be cut on to get our two inch drop and everything like we need. We'll get these cut, tacked in place, and then we'll figure the drop out. If I was a, a math musician, we could just figure that out, but I'm a hands-oner. <laughs> All right, we got a bunch of stuff that you guys have sent to us from One Dead Eye. What it is, is a punch set, so that when you drill a hole, it has a little thing on the end. You can, it's the exact size of a hole you drill, and you transfer so you can drill your hole right through it. We'll use these. Thank you very much. Randy Nils. It's an adapter socket. Lifetime warranty. I'll bet Ben can use that warranty up if I'm not mistaken. He'll break that thing. Ben's the reason I don't have nice stuff. <laughs> I don't believe it. We also got this cool thing from Ryan Duvall. He uh, hooked us up. We've got a whole bunch of different stepper bits in here. So we're gonna go through these things and use them all. And we'll tell you which ones we like the best. Global Tools and Storage. That's who he works for, or Ron's. He sent us these, these are Lexington bits. We will use them up. This may be my personal favorite. It says, put this in a highly visible, well-lit area of the shop to remind you. Um, we'll put it up, but I can't guarantee that we will obey by it. Thank you guys very much. That's mostly straight. <laughs> that one would have left a mark right there. Yeah, Look at the other side, it's worse. Ooh. Sometimes you just gotta go with the tape measure and check your calibration. <laughs> gotta recalibrate evidently. <laughs> right here uh-huh because there's a vacuum line that's supposed to go right here wasn't hooked up no so it that's will. inconceivable inconceivable it will be i'm gonna find one the problem is our our little piece here yeah i gotta drill a different hole in it so we'll fix it right and then it will go travel the whole distance because oh, yeah. it's only going middle of the road maxed out so we're never shutting the heater off yep which I could tell you that it was always it was hot, hot in that truck. Well, it won't be. We're it was either really it. hot or really cold. <laughs> and Randall had a cold night with no defrost. Or really noisy. <laughs> For some reason, my wipers have died. Oh yeah, that squeals a little. <laughs> All 
All right, I'm cutting stuff. Cut it. Those are hot. Get a hammer. That's kind of what we're thinking right there. Probably going to line it up with the inside and step this in because we want as much room as we can right here in this area. One more. You found the hose you need. I made one. This is all going to be custom in here. The whole truck is custom. And we will make it just dandy. But we'll uh, trim this and put a plate over the side. We'll now we just got to figure out this, your, your drop. the drop, to get it where we need it. But Yeah, that's... That's gonna be as far down as we want that. That's basically the spot right there. I could have made that shorter and I still may. I may leave it at that and cut it back to there and that'll start the angle down. Two inches of drop, right? Two inch. So we need it to was figure four. out. Yeah, we need to figure out from here to. to get two inches of drop. Yeah, it was four, we need two. Oh, wait. Two. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we calculate. Which technically, I just need the radiator to set basically right in front of this. 22 inches from right there, it needs to be two inches lower. Man, I wish I'd have paid attention in math class. So we're going from the top here down. Two inches would be at 14. 14. So it needs to turn that much. Then how do you get straight after that? So if we did 60 there, and you're 60 back, huh? To go the other way. It might do it. Whatever we don't cut off, we flip over. Yeah. In theory, it should line up. That's in theory. There's a lot going on here we're trying to compensate for. We're trying to get the frame built to where it doesn't hit anywhere, and where I have a radiator that mounts properly, and a frame tough enough to hang a winch off of when we get done with this that we know is going to pull way more than it ever should pull. A little bit involved, but once we get the, once we get it in our minds how we're doing it, it'll go fast. All right, we're about to we'll know if our dream is right. Okay, let's see how she fits. I think that's going to work, dude. We need to figure, oh yeah, that's another 60 right there. So that should turn it back to what? flat. Just like you minted. Like you knew you were doing. Do you know what you're doing? He does. Trained professional. Mm. And that gives us our two inch drop. Two inch drop. Boom. Psh. Engineering school. Who, Who needs, needs that? It? 11 and a quarter. No, 11 and a half. And I need to be 22. All right, so if I cut a piece 10 and a half on that angle, that should be whammo. Perfect. And this side over here needs to be 45 the other way. Yep. Just like that. You already got it set up so you can cut I'll cut that one right now. All right, we took and re-drilled the holes on this. And uh, the rod on the inside, and I re-drilled the hole on the outside. So this arm actually will go all the way and close it. And then it will go the other way. And we found that this vacuum line wasn't even hooked up. So we got that hooked up. We'll get the back one hooked up, side. We'll have a box functioning for too long. I think it's gonna do it. There we go. <laughs> Drops us our two and a half inches down. Then we'll come out here and box it over. I cut this end one on a 45 the other way so that we can 45 our angle into it to build this piece basically. So it'll have two 45s right there. Tie right in. So yeah. I'll copy these and make two more and we got it. All right, we got this uh, heater box back in here, and hopefully we got everything hooked back up. We got the lines all hooked up correctly. Now we just need to put the outside one on it, and then we should be good to go. That's the front part, getting it to hold in there. Okay, now we should stick this box on it. There we go. Yay, now just put all the bolts on it. And then put the blower motor back in it. Finish all the little bolts. Are you ready to put that together? I'm I'm getting closer every minute. How it works. Does that look better? I think so. I think it's good. Yeah. Now we just gotta put all this together. 
and uh, all of our hopes and dreams will have come true just like that. It's gonna work. And basically on the first try, this is pretty unusual for us. We'll start tack welding this all together and then we'll get it setting in there and then final weld it all together, so. Okay, how are you on the outside of the frame out there? Not bad. I mean, it's real, about the same. Well, it was. All right there, it's pretty close to yes. the same. Get her level where you want it. One more, I say it's close. It's as square as anything else on this truck. It's really pretty close. I like it. I it think really it's is. good. Let me uh, see your tape measure. I'm about to ruin my day. Right there. 59 and one quarter of an inch. 59 and one quarter of an inch. I didn't even ruin my own day. Oh, From I the like cab it. mounts to the front of the frame, it's exactly the same. So that's how it's supposed to be. All right, a little more let it click. Right there. If you push the red button in and then let it down on the locks. Safety first. All right, I think just weld so, it. Yeah, up. weld it up and then make some pieces. Weld it up, up to here. and I think I'm gonna make them long enough to fit across the whole top of that so it fits flush, and then little 45 thing on the end of it. Okay. All right. Going in, folks. Weld it. welded in there she ain't going nowhere now I just got to build these little little pieces right here which should be fairly easy to do and I've got a frame rail at that point Is it missing all the goodies I think so oh yeah all right we'll deal with all these other issues if we went five inches then we could just and there just up. be a just a be a dip around for the, yeah the stuff to go through Okay, we just need some two inch square tube, two five inch pieces, square tube, square tube, and we'll weld that right to the bottom of there, and then angle it up, and it should be wonderful. We'll just put both of those in there, drop the frame down on it, and weld them in. The last one. <laughs> All right, let that hoist down. Go for it. <laughs> well, it, it went really on there, didn't it? Fast on the draw. That's setting on it. So we're going to end up angling these, but that's easy. Yeah, just cut them and... Yeah, I'll just cut them and... Cut them and weld the flat plate And on. it'll actually strengthen them up too, because we'll... But that's easy, we'll do that. And then we'll build a Z for the inside of it right there. Strengthen it. So five inch or even five and a quarter. Yeah, five inch is plenty, but how to cut that angle, plasma cutter. Get your icrometer out. If you just take and cut it off square, and then you start at two inches here, and go to nothing up there basically, and just weld that piece in it. That's what we'll do. And then that'll work as our hard bump on the front end. 
be able to winch it down. I know that our pulleys won't ever hit. Radiators should be fine, right? Yeah. It's gonna work. Little by little, we're gaining. Okay. We'll have this one done. That's what we need. Now we just gotta do one more. Okay. I'll cut that out. It'll work. Got him. Oh yeah. I like that. We'll uh we'll go to Weldon. One more across the bottom, and then one side's welded. It's like building a derby car, all this welding. A little bit of cleanup work, and she is built, I think. Let's let it down and see if it bottoms. Dampener's not hitting, right? Nope. Fan clears. I love it. That is gonna work like a charm. So. We're getting closer. So next time you're gonna see us hang some mori's on the front of here and get the links all permanent mounted. But for today, we're all done. Thanks for watching.